Hi guys, it's Chef Alina Z and today we're making a super easy side dish for the holidays Spaghetti squash cacio e pepe A cacio e pepe is actually one of my favorite dishes which is pasta with cheese and pepper but I wanted to make it as a side dish that you can enjoy during the holidays day in and day out We're gonna begin with some grapeseed oil I'm gonna put it on the pan. Remember, we do not heat the olive oil, we'll use it later. And then we're gonna press the garlic. Okay, so we're gonna let the garlic sizzle so we can smell it. it. Smells really, really good. So I believe that foods are like partners, like friends, like significant others. We have relationships with some foods and some foods we might have one night stand with or a little fling or see them once in a while. I wanna reintroduce you to spaghetti squash. For some people, they might think it's boring, you know? It's a vegetable. It has a lot of fiber, it has a lot of substance. Like when you're looking for relationship material, guy or a girl, you're looking for substance. This spaghetti squash has fiber, it has some, a little bit of protein, it has vitamins, it has minerals, it is super, super good for you, and it is delicious when we mess it up. And people think about pasta like, Alina, but this is, you know, this is a vegetable, it's not pasta, I want pasta. And I think that pasta is not really relationship material, you guys. Like, it's okay to have a one night stand with pasta once in a while, but at the end of the day, if you're seeing pasta regularly in your life, like, are you gonna be that happy? You're gonna feel bloated, you're gonna feel tired. It's like picking a relationship that drains you. So I say pick foods that you wanna have relationships with because they make you feel excited, they make you feel energized, they make you feel alive, like relationships do. But again, like once in a while having a, a fling with pasta is a-okay. Like, you know, we all look the same, right? Like pretty much with people, like with two arms, two legs, and a head. But it's how we dress up, it's how we carry ourselves, it's how, what our interests are. The same with food, like this spaghetti squash would be bland if it was just spaghetti squash and nothing else. But so with pasta, so with pasta, plain bland pasta is no bueno, it's not fun, it's not delicious. What you have to do to the pasta is you take some uh, cheese and you can take cheese that is uh, plant-based, you can take cheese um, made with uh, tapioca, coconut. Okay, so this is basic cacio pepe. It's pasta and cheese, and it's so super easy. I mean, seriously, right? And this is totally relationship material because if you're gonna be dressing up regular spaghetti, why not dress up spaghetti squash, right? Taking pepper, and this is pepper that we grind so it has a different aroma, it's so much better. And then, only then, we're gonna add organic olive oil. So we have that olive oil flavor. I can seriously eat it like without the fork, just with my hands, but it's really hot, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna taste a little bit. So it's garlic, spaghetti squash, cheese, and olive oil and pepper, like. Mmm. It's to live for. You might wanna add some salt on your end. I don't know if you guys like salt. This is one of the easiest recipes ever and one of the tastiest ones. I'm gonna sign off because I'm gonna eat it because I'm starving. Look at the cheese, oh, yum city. Wish you guys happy holidays because we're approaching all the holidays. I'm gonna be posting more videos that things you can use for the holidays. And until later, cheers to your health, bye.